Hi everybody, thank you for joining me for Lip Scents at Lunchtime. Today's video is going to be short and sweet. It's on a beautiful cherry red matte color called Fly Girl. Um, it's just a lot of people's favorite go-to red because it doesn't have all the shimmer and everything for you matte girls out there. So I'm going to go ahead and do the application. I went ahead and, well, I started filming this and I had it on and then somehow I always wind up like having to be really careful that I don't hit stop instead of pause because I don't know how to do film editing yet. Something I plan to learn in the future, but I don't right now. So I usually just hit the pause button and go do what I need to do and come back and I accidentally hit stop. So you're seeing this from just fresh, clean, uh, exfoliated lips forward for today. Okay, so I'm just going to shake up the lip scents really quick. 10 to 15 seconds or 10 to 15 shakes. And then I just do it that way a couple of times for good measure. Just don't do it too hard because you can actually, I've heard that you can snap these um, necks off. I guess that was, you know, that's not too hard to really fathom because all it is is one of those things. So anyways, you just want to make sure your lips are clean and dry. Probably going to be talking kind of fast, so just roll with it. So, my lips are clean and dry, and I'm taking and wiping off the excess and about to put on my first coat of Fly Girl. And if you happen to feel a tingling effect, it has to do with the cosmetic grade alcohol that's in the lip scents that evaporates as you're putting on the color, but it's there to help it have a nice, even distribution just makes it look and flow really beautifully on your lips. And you also want to make sure you get it in on your waterline. Now you can either line this with your doe foot applicator or one of those little tiny I think I saw the name of it on Amazon the other night and I kind of forget what it is but it's one of these things that you can get off of Amazon and people there's a little tiny head of it and it's a um or the tip of it is got a little tiny brush on it and you can use your doe foot applicator to line your lips or I like to use this I saw somebody else using it and it looked pretty precise and I liked you know I like to line my lips so At least to get a decent overall, and yeah, I'm, I'm moving my makeup mirror again because if I have it tilted in a certain way, I'm kind of like going like this trying to see into it. I know that was a pretty face, right? Okay, I'm just trying to get more color on here. As always, I, I apologize for the dead air space, but it really is difficult to put on this lip color, um, lip scents. You're not really supposed to be talking while you're doing it, and you really shouldn't be talking while you're trying to line your lips, so. And like I said, everybody kind of does this at a different time. Some people will do it, the lining prior to even putting any on. And I think I had mentioned that I like to do it either after the first coat or the second. As long as you're doing the same color, you can even wait till after the third coat. Um, if you're doing like a liner that's a different color than your lip color, because sometimes with a really super like bombshell, bombshell diamond, those are really light. If you wanted to line with a completely different color um, to get, you know, sometimes you do because it's just so light you'd never see the liner. You probably would want to line first before you even put anything any lip color on, and I'm just wiping this off, about to do my second coat. 
I, I did my lining already and that should be pretty much it. But I mean, it really doesn't take that long. You can do that with the doe foot applicator. You don't have to do it with that little thing that I'm using, but it looked kind of cool. And I like the precision of the tiny little um, tip on it, a little brush. And just remember, don't put your lips together because they will stick. You don't want them bonding together. And that's the second coat. If you get anything on your lips from doing the inside waterline, just wipe it off really quick. I think it's all right. Yeah. Okay. And hope you guys are having a good day. If you're ever not sure if this is um, dry, just take your finger and touch your lips. I put that last coat on just a little bit uh, heavy, so the heavier the the product is on your wand, that's why they say do it in three um, uh, light coats. I know there's another word that I'm trying to think of, but um, you just want to make sure that there's not a ton of product, because the more product you use, the longer you got to wait for it to dry in between. Because you just want it, you know, to be nice and dry. As you can see already, before I even put anything else on, that this is a nice matte color. Um, if you put glossy on over it, obviously it's going to have a high gloss shine. I'm just going to go ahead and put this third coat on now, because I really do need to get this video done. I know you miss my chit-chatting and rambling, don't you? Okay. Uh... As always, if you ever have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you ever want to try any colors or ask any questions about it, I can send you a, um, a sample in the mail for you to try it out. Because not only do I own usually one of every color, but I also have um, sample colors that I just use as testers as well. Okay, so we're just letting this dry. I feel like, um, what is it, Jamie Foxx used to do? I forget what the girl's name was, but he was always like... <sighs> and I got my glossy sitting here. I'm also going to do a matte gloss. I know you guys have seen glitter gloss 500 times over, so I'm going to do the, I might do matte, pearl, and opal. Other than that, I am going to pretty much just try to get done with this video just because I wanted to make sure that I put it up so that you guys could see it. Um, but I got lots to do today, so here is matte gloss. Just looks like that. It's still a little bit tacky. I guess I should not be in that big of a hurry. Um, you always want to let your lips dry as much as possible because if you don't and they're still kind of tacky, I mean, they're going to be a little tacky until you put a gloss on. That's why they'll stick together until you put the um, gloss on after you've done the three layers. But um, I think you can tell the difference. Like Usually when you're tapping it with your finger, you won't feel the tackiness as bad You'll know the difference once you start getting used to wearing it. And I think the, the quicker I try to do these, um, you know, because I'm in a rush. I was doing it with heavy coats instead of thin coats. That's the word I was thinking of, thin. Um, anyways, you have more of a likelihood of getting product on your wand if you don't let it dry all the way. So let's see what happens. Oh, I didn't get any. Yay. And what this is going to do... Oh, I did get a little bit on that one. Not a lot, but... Sorry. I know I have a tendency to think of five million different thoughts as I'm, th as I'm saying something. And I'll start to say one thing. And um, I was about to do it again. I'll start to say one thing and then go off in a completely different train of thought. My train gets off at different locations 
and hopefully we'll jump back on the track at some point in time to where I'll be able to finish my sentence, but I am totally like, ooh, sparkle, or ooh, squirrel. I have, like, that attention deficit whenever it comes to thoughts. And I'm, I know I'm bad when people are talking to me that I don't mean to jump in on their conversation, but something will hit me and then I'll be like, ooh, if I don't say it now, I'll forget about it. So, anyways, um, I'm just making sure. Because even though, I don't know if I put it all on the inside. Hold on a minute. I was about to grab opal because it almost looks the same as um, matte gloss. But so all of y'all matte loving sisters out there can see. And you always want to make sure you get it good in your corners. Because it has the most tendency to be skipped so it's going to stick together in the corners. It'd be like... Okay, so as you can see... It really kind of mattifies it down, even if it had a tiny bit of, hmm, what do you want to say, not really shimmer, but even if it had a tiny, tiny hint of glossiness to it, it, it will really mattify down a color that could go either way. And so that is Fly Girl with Matte Gloss. I definitely, of all the ones that I like mattes with, and you know that's not very many, I actually, I love reds with matte gloss. Unless it's um like B Ruby, which is a shimmer, or um what was the other one I had on the other day? Fire and Ice. Those are obviously shimmers and they look beautiful all on their own and they're not gonna be the matte. You can't really mattify a shimmer because there's still gonna be shimmer there even though you've toned down the gloss part of it, if that makes any sense. So go ahead and take that off. And as always no red anywhere. Um, I just want to make sure this isn't one I had used another time and I didn't, I, <laughs> I hate whenever I go to do one of these and I've got, I usually have those napkins laying around because not only am I blotting off whatever, but I sweat. And so it's funny because sometimes I'll be blotting and then the next thing you know, I will go to, um, look back in the camera and I'll have sparkles all over my face. Okay, so that was matte gloss. Here is glossy gloss. I don't know if you need to see it or if you just trust me, but glossy. Me and glossy. That's my jam. Okay, so glossy obviously takes it up another level and going from matte to glossy. But just for you guys that are like, you know, I love glossy lips and they look be beautiful on some people, but they just don't look good on me. Matte gloss. Nothing. Okay, so do I want to do, I hardly ever do pearl, so I'm gonna do it next and then I'll end with um, opal. So pearl, it's so funny because pearl and Opal and matte look so much alike. If you were looking at them from this direction, you wouldn't know which one was which. But yeah, I just thought that was interesting because I hardly ever have them all sitting side by side and I keep having to look to see which one I have. And this one is pearl. Woo! Do I have it there? There we go. Pearl gloss. And this one, I don't wear as much. It is beautiful. Um, it has a tendency to mute a color down a bit. Um, it's still very pretty though, like red or something bright or dark. You're not gonna mute it down a whole lot, but say if you had a lighter, a medium color, it would lighten it down a bit. Um, but it gives it a nice pearly look. Um, whereas opal is completely different because it'll give it almost like a lot of time with reds It'll give it like a purpley or whatever different color hue But that is pearl. She's very pretty. I like pearl Okay And ooh, pick pearl back up again Okay, this is the one I was looking for the other day and I couldn't find it to save my life and It was sitting right in front of me I'm one of those people. Okay, so here's my opal gloss.
and see how it almost has like a purpley, a hint of purpley look to it now. It just has that big opalescent, like a little bit of a monochromatic look almost with the whole opal thing, or yeah, opal thing going on. I was trying to think, make sure I wasn't calling pearl opal and opal pearl, but this one's opal. So, and again, a lot of times this isn't even doing it justice if you were to see it in person, but um, all of these later ones are going to give it high shine, as you can see, and uh, the matte will mattify it. Kind of self-explanatory, I guess. And then the glitter ones, you, I, you already know, because I do those ones all the time. That's what I started off with whenever I started filming the video and didn't realize I accidentally hip stopped and, and I was already wearing it. So this is my second time applying it today, but it looked really good. I applied it at 530 this morning and it looked really good. I had gone um, to have lunch with a friend and so I'm filming this after I had eaten, but unfortunately I hit stop so you didn't get to see it. But um, this is what actually... As far as matte colors go, this is one of my favorite reds, and I think it's a lot of other people's favorites too. Not saying that blue-red isn't also beautiful, they all kind of are in their own way. I love red, um, especially on holidays or whatever. I just, to me it's like old Hollywood glamour, so I love red. Okay, well I'm just going to leave that on because I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day anyways. So if you guys ever have any questions or anything, feel free to comment. You can um, private message me or whatever. And um, don't be afraid to ask any questions. I don't bite. Um, I won't hound you for anything. Just ask away. And um, like I said, I'll send you, uh, if you're wanting to try a color before you buy, I can send you some samples and you can try them out um, for free won't charge shipping or anything like that either. And um, if you like them, great. You want to buy them, great. If you don't, that's fine too. But I love to be able to offer um, people the choice, the, the opportunity to be able to try them on first because I know that, you know, when you walk into Mac or if you go into Sephora or Ulta or any of those places, a lot of times with their makeup, they'll have like, you know, the little testers set up. And I realize for... For me, personally, I love um, the more affordable and high-end brands. I love them both. I love a little bit of everything. A lot of everything, actually. So I definitely understand and can appreciate the fact that um, if you you want to buy something that's quality, but you also want to be able to try it on, make sure you feel that it looks good with your skin tone and stuff like that. And I totally get it. Um, so, yeah, if you want to try any of them, just message me and um, I'll get back with you. Uh, usually within the same day. I, I work during the day, so it might be later in the evening. But anyways, hope you had a great day. Thank you for joining me for Lip Sense at lunchtime and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.